I'm going to be going over everything you need to carry to school. Obviously, it's more than just school supplies. Because remember, you want to be the most attractive and interesting person at your school. So here's everything that you need. Now, I always like to start off with the backpack. Huge mistake I made in high school was carrying a vibrant backpack. I thought it was funny to have such a colorful backpack. I thought that's what's gonna make me stand out. Well, just like any accessory, because yes, a backpack is an accessory, less is more. You want something sleek, minimal. You don't want the color to be what's catching the eyes, but you want the details. Of course, the best one is leather, but if you're anything like I was in high school, you couldn't afford an expensive backpack. I would go on Amazon and start looking for backpacks that look more expensive than they actually are. And that's gonna be your main thing when it comes to accessories. Something that looks more expensive than what it actually is. So everything that you're carrying around in your pockets should do exactly that. For example, a wallet. I don't care whether you're in high school or college or even middle school. If you have a Velcro wallet, you need to throw it out. It's time that you have something more sleek honestly something that looks more mature just imagine you're finally able to talk to your crush maybe you're able to ask her out and when you're paying for the movie theater ticket or boba or whatever you went to go do if you pull out a velcro wallet you're probably not going to get a second chance honestly i know that sounds a little bit too extreme but trust me do yourself a favor start looking for some high quality wallets my first leather one was from coach so if you have the money that's a good place to start another accessory that every guy in school likes to overlook is a proper belt. Now don't get something in the color brown because this looks way too formal. Get a black leather belt and you are going to look way better than everybody else who is still wearing shoelaces around their waist. I know that's a huge fashion trend right now. Honestly, it's never been for me. And I'm pretty sure most people can agree that a black leather belt just looks that much better. Now let's start talking about what can go inside your backpack. When I was in school, the first thing that I always made sure I had were AirPods. And that's because I really didn't like talking to too many people. And when I was walking to different classes, I tried using my AirPods as an excuse to not to talk to people. In fact, sometimes they were dead and I still had them on just so people wouldn't try to talk to me. Looking back, I think this is a huge mistake. So if you feel like you're antisocial, get out of your comfort zone and try talking to new people. Now look, I'm gonna be the first one to say it. Sometimes people are just downright annoying. So yes, it's okay to stay away from these people. But whether it's just a small compliment or even just talking to your teachers, you have to get into the habit of talking to new people and starting new conversations. This is a tiny skill that you could start learning today that could genuinely benefit you for the long term. Cause I know plenty of people who are my age that still struggle talking to new people. So don't wait till later on, start practicing that now. But yes, I'm gonna be honest, if I was still in school, I'd probably still take AirPods. Another thing that I always kept inside my backpack was extra lip balm because yes, chap lips are extremely annoying. I'm gonna be honest, they look even worse to look at. And also fixing your chap lips can be one of the first and easiest steps to looking more attractive. It's a small detail that will go a long way. I personally always preferred Vaseline, but use whatever you want. Another thing that I still carry around to this day is sugar-free gum. So one, this is a little diet hack for you. If you struggle with saying no when anybody offers you a snack, chew gum all the time so you're gonna say no to that now it's obviously not gonna make you lose any weight but that's a huge help and always having fresh breath can honestly make you more attractive because i've always said it but i refuse to be the person that smells bad which is why the next item i'm always carrying is deodorant because i've had way too many times whenever i would go to school and realized hey i forgot my deodorant and i probably smell bad especially for those of you guys who take a gym class. People were always notorious for always forgetting to wear their deodorant, and I've always refused to have that reputation. So whether I apply some in the morning and I still need a revamp, or I just downright forgot in the morning, deodorant was always in my bag. Now this next one definitely seems unnecessary, but I promise you it saved me plenty of times, and that is carrying around a lint roller. Especially if you have pets, or maybe your shirt just accumulated too much lint in the dryer. Having things to make your shirt looks dirty, makes you look like a dirty person. So fix it in five seconds with a lint roller. Now going back to the way that you smell, a huge bonus is smelling good with some cologne. And I promise you with a single purchase, you could smell better than 90% of guys at your school because let's be real, the majority of guys at your school will not even consider buying a cologne. And if they do have a cologne, it's something corny and something that their mom gave them. So do yourself a favor, start getting into colognes now. They don't have to be overly expensive. In fact, one of the best ones to start off with costs around $25. Nautical Voyage is a great place to start and is the cheapest option you could find. Now, if you want to take that extra step, start getting into designer colognes and by all means, try it out for yourself promise you you will love it but it all depends on your budget and whatever you want to stick with that being said don't get one that's way too big to carry around in your backpack because if it breaks then you are going to put yourself in a terrible position now this next one i always struggled with in school but 
Looking back, I should have done this a lot more, which is drinking more water. So the thing that you need to start carrying around is a reusable water bottle. Now look, I'm gonna be honest with you, carrying around a gallon can give you a certain stigma, but you don't have to do exactly that. You can get something small, maybe 32 ounces, whether you finish one in an hour or it takes you all day. Carrying this around will get you into the habit of drinking more water, which is obviously very beneficial for you. It's gonna make you more healthy. And honestly, for me, whenever I started drinking more water, I noticed it on my skin. And that's a big reason why my skin looks the way it does right now. Now, honestly, my water bottle is pretty tiny, but I'm gonna be leaving a few links in the description. The next thing you need to start carrying to school is one that for some reason I always refuse to wear, which are sunglasses. But I can say, I used to always think that I was always going to get made fun of every time I wanted to wear sunglasses out. I promise you, that is never going to be the case. And there is nothing wrong with trying to protect your eyes and it's honestly going to make you look better. So whether you wanna go for an expensive brand like Ray-Bans or you can get one that you see on Amazon or quite honestly, one that you get at the CVS. Whichever option you start wearing, get into the habit of starting to wear sunglasses to protect your vision, to protect your skin. And again, could make you look that much better. Now one small purchase that's gonna give you that extra detail to make you look better are face wipes. For some reason, especially growing up, I was always that person that sweated a lot. Now, always do my best to hide that and instead of using your shirt to wipe off any sweat on your face because if your shirt's dirty you're putting extra dirt on your face which is probably going to make you break out and especially while you're a teen where your skin is already sensitive enough that's the last thing you need so you can pick up some face wipes for about five dollars to make you more clean to make you less sweaty and ultimately make you look better now these were honestly the most important ones and looking back there were so many things that i could have done better in school some of which i talked about in this video but again it's all about what's more convenient to you and your day-to-day -day lifestyle for example some of you play sports and so one, you're probably gonna need even extra deodorant to make sure you're not smelling too bad. But the best advice I can give you is think about things that you're struggling with. So if it is smelling bad or sweating too much or being uncomfortable in certain situations, start thinking about the things that you could start carrying that are going to help you with that. Especially right now that you're in school, you want to start building up the habits that are gonna carry you throughout the rest of your life and start thinking about the bad habits that you need to cut off. And if you wanna see a video about the five habits that you need to cut off, here's a video that's gonna show you exactly that.